Hi, I'm going to be reading you some creepy pastas on my channel. This is my first video, so I thought I'd introduce myself beforehand. Now, if you hear some no a noise in the background, I'm sorry, that's my cat. Anyways, let's get started with the first creepy pasta. This one is called The Death of Tim. I had just started eighth grade at the time, and I recently made a few new friends, Matt and Tim. Matt just transferred from Russia, and Tim was from San Francisco. Why Russians would give their kid an American name still confuses me to this day, so don't ask. During the class, during the beginning of the year, I was in ma a math class and we were watching some videos from a child friendly site called Brain Pop. We had shown Matt and Tim the site because we were used to it being around us and they never heard about it. A few months into the grade we were in math again and talking. The teacher came in and said, okay class, today we will be watching a brain pop about advanced algebra. Everyone jeered. Even Matt. Somehow he didn't speak a word of English, which made me a little uneasy. Sorry. Got a little ranty there. When the teacher started the video, some kids were laughing because they thought kids in the 8th grade shouldn't be watching brain popper sites like that. They thought they deserved sites like Armored Games or something. She was looking for brain pop, the brain pop, but when she typed down advanced algebra, all that came up was an episode called Condemned. Not only that, but generally brain pop would sometimes make these little comments at the bottom of the video link. Nothing funny, but just there to make people feel like they have a friend if they were down. But it said, do not watch for some odd reason. They made a blooper and uploaded it to the website. The teacher assumed it was a glitch. And the network was a glitch with the network and started work and started watching. That was not the best idea ever. It started fine. Everything normal. He explained how advanced algebra and then boom the sound of an explosion came from this the speakers and can there be and can there was realistic loud really loud static the teacher couldn't turn off the speakers for some odd reason and then it went back to normal or so i thought in Brain Pop, there's a robot called Moby. Tim leaned over and asked, Is it normal for Moby's eyes to look like that? I looked at his eyes. We're glowing red. Then static for a split second. The glowing red was gone. But so was Moby's eyes. The white part was there. But the black part, or whatever you call it, was missing. More static. Then blood dripped down from his face, and his it dri dripped down his face from his eyes. The teacher screamed and tried to turn off the video, but her mouse w wasn't working. All we could do was watch. We looked at Tim, not the Tim in real life, the Tim in Brain Pop. He turned his head 360 degrees, and then it came back. The black dots were, and his eyes were missing too. Were missing. Two were missing. And blood dripped down his head. His shirt went from having a little clip bar of advanced algebra to hyper-realistic blood stains. The wind started outside. Tim and Moby's home. And you heard a little girl say, the screen went to Moby in center frame. A lightning strike flashed the whole area, and Moby's eyes were glowing red again. 
He looked at Tim. Tim was back to normal. Hey, Moby, what you doing? What are you doing? Tim asked as Moby approached. Moby's hand then turned into a fully functional drill instead of a simple beat Moby normally made. He made a jigsaw-type laugh and approached Tim. He grabbed Tim by the shirt and shoved the drill right through him with hyper-realistic blood gushing out of Tim's body. It again went back to Moby's face in center frame with his creepy demonic face with more and more blood pouring onto it while you heard Tim screaming realistically and by that I mean it sounded like someone in the room was set screaming there was more static and it showed Moby's ungodly face then the episode ended. The principal came in and asked the teacher to come out to the hall and explain what the noise was. She came back in to ask a kid to come out and tell her story, the same story. Afterwards, she had called the people at Brain Pop to see what the heck was going on. They had no idea what she was talking about. After school, I went home to show my parents. But when I searched up advanced algebra like my teacher, nothing came up. Still nothing came up when I searched condemned. And I knew what that meant. It was ending there. And I was right. A few months passed. No one approached Brain Pop. And then Tim in real life started to not appear to classes. In classes for two months, I called his mom, but no answer. I wa just walked to his house to find Tim and his parents were all dead, cut up, mangled, and their heads detached, and bite marks were take bite marks taken out of them. I was sure I was sa that I was safe because the only ones to die was were Tim and his parents. And I knew that if they didn't change Tim's name to Buck, me and my family are safe. But there's one last thing that scares me. When I saw Tim and his parents laying on the ground, 